In this video, we'll discuss cube perspectives and how they work. When you create a data connector to SQL Server Analysis Services, you gain access to all the measures and dimensions available within that cube. However, you might, you might not want to give access to your entire set of measures and dimensions. What if you had a massive cube with millions of measures and dimensions? You might want to give your users access to only a subset. As a Dundas BI administrator or developer, you can create a cube perspective which defines a subset of all the available measures and dimensions from a native OLAP cube. Basically, you will give your SSBI user access to this cube instead of the full native cube, and then they can work on it from there. So it's just a smaller working version of what you offer them. In order to build a cube perspective, simply go to the home screen and click on the tile that says New Cube Perspective. Now, you would already have your cube defined at this point, cube perspective is working on top of an existing cube. So to start, go to your data connectors and drag on the cube that you want to see. So open it up. In my case, I want to show my AdventureWorks cube. Once you do that, it will discover all the structures available in your cube and give you some options to make some changes. So you'll see on the left hand side, I can open and remove various attributes of measures and dimensions or the whole thing. And that's kind of your idea. It's just a subset to create whatever you need to see. You can also play with this binding section for your cube perspective in order to just see the data. Really good for testing or just data exploration in general. Don't forget that once you've created the perspective the way you want it, for example removing a couple of these measures, Go to the bottom left, rename your cube, and check it in. Once you've done this, your users will see an object in the dashboard designer on the right hand side called My Cube, which they can expand and work with just like they would the full data connector. It's just now it's going to be a subset of what's available. And lastly, using security, you may even want to remove the user's ability to view your full cube and let them simply work off the data cube. So this is their entire world, is just the cube perspective that you offer them. And that should give you a pretty good idea of what a cube perspective is and how you can use it in your own deployments.